Hello everyone, we're playing Star Trek Bridge Coup. As you can see, uh, I'm already a captain here, so we're going to jump on in and see what we can do. Hello. Hello everyone. Oh, Captain Seed, I guess I can do that, yeah. sure. Yeah. Just, somebody's got the Simpsons on there in the background. Shut up. Immediate. Any requests for anything anyone wants to do? I'm still new to the game, so I'm up before whatever. All right, let's just uh, turn up the old randomizer and away we go. Oops. Captain's log supplement. Updating our star charts. All right, everyone. Could I get torpedoes armed and disarmed, please? Armed. Disarmed. You have to let them load into the tube. Okay, army. Go ahead and let's plot a course to the Devon system. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you charge warp coils? Torpedoes loaded, disarming. Beautiful. Go ahead and charge coils engineering and get us out of here when ready, Helm. Warp coils engaged. Woo! Are you with us there, Engineering? Yep. Okay, you'll put engine power up to five. Yeah. There you go. There it is. Warp coils charging. Lower your volume a little bit. Warp coils charged. <laughs> Okay, we gotta get within 10 kilometers of the contact ship, which is just ahead of us, so full speed ahead, please. You've got uh, 5k on the air. Uh... Yeah, that's perfect. There's no hostiles around, so we don't have to worry too much about our detectability range. This is a fugitive recovery mission, so... Should go pretty so smoothly.
We're being hailed. All right. Answer that. Putting it on the view screen. Federation vessel, we are an ore mining ship independently operated. Our vessel was sabotaged, and the criminal we were transporting has escaped. His allies are attempting to smuggle him out in a civilian convoy nearby. Please, you must recapture him. All right, should have an impulse place here pretty soon. I will update the chart impulse to Erbo's planetary orbit. Calculating travel vector. Got it. We don't need engines at five. Map. Put engines at four and increase our phaser range to almost maximum. Oh no! Okay, can I get a scan of that anomaly, please? That's uh, to our left. Scanning. Hazardous Scanning shields. Will have moderate effect on our systems. Go ahead and steer us around to the left of that anomaly. Heading to it 70. Puts us at risk of damage to the ship. Transferring data to your panel, Captain. Warning. Environmental hazard Hopefully detected. that, uh... We're not within range. You might have to place some uh, repairs there on shields there, engineering. So if you go to the repairs uh, button, you should be able to see the different subsystems. No, we're golden to five point out. Perfect. Can't do it. Can't do it. All right, continue just steering us around this anomaly until we get towards uh, the the ship marked in yellow freighter one. What are these guys? Go ahead and increase our engines to 5k. Away from Wrong me. Way. Warning. Environmental hazard detected. You might have an issue with launch sequencing. Can you investigate that? See what I can find. Engines to 5, please. Talk to me. Drop our shield level, please, and place it into engine power. Please, shield level going down. Engine power increase. Yep. Perfect. Uh, we're in scanning range of Freighter 1, so please start the scan for life science only. Decrease our uh, speed to f under 4K. Yep, perfect. You can shoot that volatile object if it's within range. Increase our phaser range a bit, please, engineering. Captain, okay, complete. Okay, fire phasers only on freighter one. Please give us full power to phasers, engineering. Engineering. I think we've lost our engineer. Oh, perfect. Yeah. 
decrease engine power to four and give us as much phaser range as you possibly can. Yep. Right here. There you go. The phaser range maximum, please. Uh, the one there on the left. You can give us some more engine power too. Oh. Oh. Okay, start to fire phasers only on freighter one. Come to a full stop. Uh, phasers are still. Oh, here we go. Firing. Out of range. Give us one more pip on phaser range, please, engineering. Yep. You can drop our engine power uh, down to three. Oh, that. No. Uh, ah. You're ah. good, engineering. Just ah. leave it right where we are. Um, tactical, please lock on your transporter, please. And transport that no. fugitive off of Freighter 1. Oh, I got it already. Perfect. Let's steer us towards heading 315 full speed ahead until I can get an update. Keth system, prepare warp to the Keth system. Uh, I need the coils to charge. Yep, are we lined up? Uh, no. Engine power to 5, please. Engineering and push charge coils. I'd rather not be detected, but we might get there. Engineering. Engineering, I really need those warp coils, please. Engineering, are you there? Bye bye. Charge coils. Thank you. Prepare warp. Affirmative. Initializing warp protocols. Adjusting power. Punch it as soon as we're uh, ready. <coughs> we should be followed by some Klingons if I remember correctly, but we're going to be impulsing out of here to the planet Wyrus region planetary orbit. Plotting course. All we have to do now is get within 10 kilometers of the plot of the um, of the contact ship. So as soon as we're out of impulse, pr please proceed directly towards the contact ship. I'll hop over to engineering and give you 7,600 engines. We're going to outrun the Klingons. You can give us a scan of that anomaly while you're at it, uh, their tactical, and let Helm know what's going on. Affirmative. The anomaly will cause minor disruptions to normal system function. Ah. Scanning is complete. Captain, we've got an incoming hail. Ignore that. Lower your shields and surrender, 
or prepare yourselves for death. Trying not to hit the rock, I guess. Yeah, I got it, got it. <laughs> That's some good steering right there. Oh! Just barely. Are we all the way already uh, as low as we can get? Yeah. Yep. So much for 3D yep. space flight, huh? <laughs> yeah. I guess we're all con in this game. Um, how far away is the uh, Klingon vessel right now? Uh, it's 20 21. or 2, Columbus. Alright, let me get back onto routing here and give you some more power to these engines. We might have to fight. Twenty-eight kilometers away from the uh, butterfly. Beautiful. Tolerance. Okay, gotta reset the routes here. We Warning. just got. There we go. Power. Thank you for the help, Aegis. If he had gone free, it would have been a disaster for the whole system. Nicely done. Multiplayer have procedurally generated uh, maps, or is it only the pre-made missions? Um, well, there are four different types. There's the defend mission, the recover, the re rescue, or the research. So if you choose the one that says all missions, you just get one of the four. Or are they procedurally generated? I don't think they're static. All right. Because I've, even though I've played this game quite a lot, I've still there's um, some missions there that I get just destroyed. You don't mind if I'm engineer, right? Or someone? No, yeah. no, yeah, fine. Oh, sorry, I kicked off our previous engineer. I don't mean to be a dick, but that guy no, would seem like cool. he was. Yeah, I'm happy you did, because that was. Yeah, uh, me too. Before he got on, he made a mention of trying to get drunk, and I don't know what that screaming was about. It sounded so... like he had The Simpsons going on. That was Family Guy. Was that him screaming or the show screaming? Why do I have like a million things that are going ding at me? So I just started playing this game. Is there any plans uh, by Ubisoft to update it so that we can actually adjust the height of the uh, controls? What I try to do is I actually lean my um, headset forward, then I recenter, and then I sit back in my chair, so that helps out a lot. Yeah, I've been doing that. That just seems odd. And I, it's also odd that my legs in the game like to blow my actual legs. Well, I'm just going to sit in the captain role so we don't get a six-year-old taking the, the chair. No, that's fine. I'm happy to uh, yeah, let situation. one of you guys sit in the captain's chair if you'd like to do that. 
Nah, you're good. I can't promise that we'll win, but... <laughs> I can't promise we'll win. If we get into a fight like a defend mission, mm, my goodness, I'm not very good at fighting the Klingons as the captain. <laughs> or like episode four, episode five. Episode five, I would probably lose as the captain. Oh uh, yeah, I played this one. Episode Survive 4 is really fun. I like it a lot. Yeah. Requires a really good engineer, though. I've actually only played engineer on that mission twice. Came out all right. Hey, Vast. I have to apologize because I actually hit the wrong one. I'm bailing out. Sorry, guys. Hi. Take it easy. Unless you need help, I'll stay. If you want to stay, you can. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> you staying with us? No. Is all pretty experienced at this game, or? I'm um, not. This is my second uh, time playing multiplayer, so. Nice. I've only played multiplayer. Like, I jumped into the game, and I just said multiplayer. And I'm not dealing with this <laughs> yeah. AI scum. Oh, man, the AI suck. <laughs> all right, any reasons you'd like to do? Or anything. Survival of the fittest? Actually, we were just discussing survival of the fittest. I'm down for that. Yeah, that's yeah sounds good. Uh, FaZe, are you good to, uh, for engineering on this one? I played it before. Alright, man, let's go. All right, let's try to get the one torpedo we have loaded up, come to a full stop. We're going to be hanging out right here until uh, we need to jump. Oh, come on, full stop. Damn. I'm in no hurry to be trying to leave and head to the Herodotus. <clears throat> Give us as much engine power as you can, like 4K to engines. Perfect. Got it. Torpedo is loaded. Perfect. Get the RT torpedoes disarmed. Opening Disarmed. Are we outside of range for scanning those anomalies? Negative. Get a scan on the anomalies, please, while we're waiting around. I found her. The warp core on the Herodotus is showing severe coolant loss. They will not have time to repair it before it goes critical. <laughs> I believe we could accommodate the survivors even in our current condition. What you got uh, repairs going on there, uh, engineering? Oh, right now I am repairing the engines, and then later I might have to fix the torpedoes. Okay, or, perfect. Yeah. 
hazardous. Okay, get us uh, headed towards like the two uh, two seventy region and full speed ahead, please, huh? It could cause direct damage to the ship. Start getting us away from this uh, this um, guy. Get a scan on DS Scout Alpha One and disrupt engines. You want me to avoid the Klingon, right? Avoid the Klingon. Alright. Alright, engines are restored. Perfect. Disrupt engines on the Klingon. Disrupting engines. Shit, another one inbound. Engines disrupted. Beautiful. Get it. If we're within range, scan DS Scout Alpha 2 and continue proceeding directly ahead. Engines on. Yeah, engines only. I try to keep us outside of the um, the anomaly, like heading 280 ish. Don't get don't get into the anomaly helm. Okay, no problem. We don't need more damage to this ship. You know, forgive me, I've not done this mission yet. This we're just going to be playing the old avoid the Klingon game for a long time. Okay. The anomaly is hazardous, so I don't want to go into it. Yeah. No worries. We did hit it, but I think we're going to be okay. Continue disrupting engines as long as we're in range of whichever Klingon your heart desires. Whichever one is we closest. Uh, I think DS Scout Alpha 2 is actually closest. Yeah, Alpha 2. Alright, uh, torpedoes at 100%. Beautiful. Torpedo launchers but these guys are within 20 kilometers. We can't really arm our second one. Heading 320, please. In the Perfect. Go ahead and we're just going to plot a course towards the asteroid field, asteroid field proximity, but do not engage until I give the word. I like this stuff to about the plot phase engines. Calculating travel yeah, vector. sounds good. <coughs> engines disrupted. Perfect. Alright, we're core 100%. Core restored. <laughs> You don't want to change the heading to that, yeah, uh, do you? Nope. We're just going to continue okay. on. We're not uh, in too terrible danger right now, so just keep yeah. keep it steady as she goes, Vash. All right. <laughs> All right, Captain. We're just going to keep that course locked in, though, so if it disappears, just uh, replot the course so that way we can get out of here quickly if we get uh, spotted. Absolutely. We're doing real good. I can turn us a little bit more to the left. Maybe like the 270 heading. Captain, I have noticed a pattern of unusual sensor echoes. They are indicative of the recent use of a clucking device. No shit, Sherlock. Oh dear. All right, line us up and get us out of here. Understood. They know we're here. Incoming fire. Come on, oh, come on, come on. No. Yeah, we'll be okay. We're going to leave here right now. Punch it. We're gone. Sorry about this phase, Mexican. <laughs> No, my repair. <laughs> you got a good set in there. Yeah. Yeah, way better with multiplayer. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's try to head towards the Herodotus without getting seen. You can shoot uh, that volatile object to our left and scan the anomalies directly ahead of us. Could we possibly get slightly more phaser range here, engineering? 
we keep our distance, the Klingons yeah. may be distracted by the fire. Perfect. Panel, there you go. Anomaly is obscuring, which is perfect. Hey. Drive us directly into the anomaly. Shoot oh, at that volatile object damage. directly ahead of us, please. Phases are damaged on angle of fire. Environmental hazard. Oh. Fuck, hold up. Hey, oh, perfect. Transferring analysis that was too to close. <laughs> oh. You want... Dr drive us into the yeah. anomaly, please, Helm. Perfect. Off to, off to the right? Yep, off to the right. This is obscuring, so it's going okay. to decrease our detect builder range. Try to increase our phaser range, please. Engineering, there's a volatile object directly ahead of us. Yep, perfect. Fire at that volatile object. Tell me your phasers are damaged. Oh my goodness. Shit. What, are phasers uh, to the left or to the right available? Uh, to the left are available. Okay, come to a full stop and get that. Um, oh yeah, try to avoid that mine. I'd rather not take any more okay. damage. Scan for life signs only on the Herodotus, please. You wanted full stop, right? I'd like to shoot that volatile object, but go ahead and proceed forward at 4K towards the Herodotus. But we'll have to kind of skirt around to the right because there's also a Klingon in that anomaly. We're within range of the Herodotus. Can you please scan for life signs only on the Herodotus? Scanning. Uh, tactical, please go ahead and transport to those survivors as soon as you can. Moving out of the nebula, heading over to the other one. Uh, Trent, lock on to the Herodotus survivors, please. Okay. We should be within range. Uh, start... We'll probably have to head over to the right some more. How's the transport coming? Three or four locked. Phaser array. Yeah. Energizing. Do we, do I have full phasers now? Um, Civilians yeah, you do. Yes. Transport complete. Phasers Perfect. Come to the right hand side. Oh no! Uh, disrupt engines on the Herodotus, please. Crap. Yep. Come We're gonna on, fight this bird of prey scout three. Disrupt engines on the Herodotus. Ray shields. Goodbye, Herodotus. Any uh, Herodotus. Herodotus. And so now. Sorry, I had to scan it first. Full head, um, full speed ahead, engine power at 4k. Did you get the disrupt on the Herodotus? I did, yep. I don't see it as a triangle on the Herodotus. Get into this anomaly here, which should be obscuring. It is, and um, drop our shields. Shields are ready as low as we can get. No, uh, tactical will lower shields. Um, Lowering shield. Perfect. The heart of this is out of range. Okay. Um, so I guess it just uh, never. Did engine not power it. only at 4k, please. Uh, please get out of detectability range. Oh, I'm go trying. ahead and plot plot a course. We're going out of here. Uh, asteroid failed proximity. Oh no, we're already here. Uh, planetoid yep. beta, planetoid beta orbit. Plotting course. This did not go as well as I wanted to. Oh nope, we're we're good. Head towards uh, heading ninety. See if you could get an engine scan on bird of, on any of those birds of prey that are getting that right on our butts. Crap! Are you serious? Turn us and engage. Tur tur turn us towards the uh, the um, the the plotted course, please. Okay. Get us out of here. Shields up. Yep. 
freaking opposite direction. Come on, come on, come on, come on. If our shield's raised, we're going to wait for our shield to be dropped. Okay. Hold on, hold on. S just stay on target. Oh. oh, sorry. You wanted us out of here, right? Yeah, but what I wanted to do is try to use as much shields as I could. So let's oh. lower our shields, please. Should be able to do that. Sure. Perfect. Shield lower. Do you want me to um, torpedo to get a second one in, or...? Depends on what's here once we get out of impulse. Hopefully I don't have to impulse again, because the next one is going to be really long if I do. Alright, we've got 7 minutes and 45 seconds. Warning. Environmental Go ahead and arm that torpedo and get some scans on these anomalies while we're here. Would you like me to move us to an anomaly at all, or...? I'd like to get a scan on this one. Okay. Transferring analysis to your Drain shield and reduce sensor and scan ranges. That's all of these, and since we're not using shields anyways, proceed towards heading 180, lower our torpedoes. Drop torpedoes. Perfect. Good song. All right. We're going to head into this anomaly. All right, bye. How are our uh, repairs going, engineering? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Excellent. Uh, right now I'm repairing the scanners. Warning. Scanners is like the least priority. Get our engines and warp core back online. And um, heading 9-0. Brother Prey just jumped in. Yep, I saw him. We're going to steer away. See if you can get a scan on bird of prey engines only. Disrupt. You can go ahead and disrupt engines anytime that's just a standing order. You don't have to wait for my to, me to tell you that. Okay. Because when we disrupt their engines, it can only go 1,000, so we're moving faster than they are. Perfect. We'll head into the anomaly since it is um, obscuring, but it will drain our shields, but we're not using our shields, so it should be okay. Warning. Excuse me. Detected. Yeah, perfect. Just duck us right into this anomaly. I'd like to try to see if we can keep us within this anomaly loop, because this, these anomalies keep us detectable within 6.5 kilometers, but I don't think we can so those guys are like directly behind us. Okay. Warp core restored. Alright. Uh, let's not head towards that, um, DS scout. He's... We're gonna have to head towards 90 and get out of these anomalies. Hopefully there's more of them. Sorry, the only anomalies I could see were on my map, so I figured that's what you wanted me to try and stay in. <laughs> uh, ideally, that would have been great, but um, those Klingons have other ideas. Yep. How far out are those guys? 20 clicks. 21 clicks. All right, uh, they're 20 clicks away, so we should be able to finish up loading that torpedo, maybe. Torpedo is uh, loaded. Perfect. Continue disrupting engines on the closest bird of prey. Alright, she has 100%. Beautiful. Nice. Too bad we couldn't have the D right now. <laughs> Three minutes and 42 seconds. We're going to plot a course for planetoid alpha orbit. 
calculating travel vector. Oh, crud. Yeah, that's a long one. Uh, heading zero, maybe? He's turning that yeah. way. You want me to go heading zero? Should be okay. You can also think if 180 might have been better, I don't know. Phaser array restored. But that All engine right, disruption... Phase, phase perfect. The engine disruption on Bird of Prey Scout 6 should keep us out of range. <coughs> Man, this is a fleet behind us. <laughs> exactly where I'd like them to be. Yeah. As long as we're outside of 10 kilometers, they're not going to detect us. Which I don't know if any of you are Star Trek fans, but that's a little actually far-fetched. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can see them out of my viewfinder. Like, I pop my yeah. head out of the ship. I can actually Photon see them in space. <laughs> Holy crap, Tian. <laughs> I mean, I don't understand how they cannot see us. We have two minutes to survive. So hopefully we might not even need that uh, last impulse um, destination. Nice. So after two minutes, we're going to have a warp destination put into place. I'd like to go to uh, warp as an ideal solution. Oh crap. See if you can turn us around, uh, away from it. I think we're going to get spotted. Captain, yep, go ahead and punch it. Take impulse? Take impulse. Gone. So our main objectives are going to be engines and warp core for... Um, for repairs. We're going to go to warp in 60 seconds. So I'm going to need 5,000 to engines and warp coils available here in short order. Even if the warp core is damaged, we should be able to enter warp. Okay. I should have come here first. Alright, engines are 10 seconds for 100%. Perfect. Let's get, uh, let's head toward the anomaly and get us a scan of that anomaly. Engines restored. We'll scan the anomaly once it's within range. Yep. 10 seconds. And left uh, phases are damaged, so I will probably not be able to fire from those. Subspace distortion has stabilized, Captain. Perfect. Oh, crud. Ray shields. Shield raising. Beautiful. Go ahead and engage that target while we get our warp destination. Yandor. Warp to Yandor system. As soon as you're lined up, engage. Come on, come on, come on, come on. If I remember right, there's still more. Yeah. Head towards the uh, subspace communications relay. Continue our. Um, I, we're going to need phasers here in short order. So get some uh, guys on those phasers. You can drop our yeah. engine power down to like three and increase our phaser range to as maximum as you can. Give me arm torpedoes. Yeah, arm torpedoes, raise shields, all that stuff. One Klingon vessel in pursuit. It's a war 
Turn this around and see if you can disrupt his weapons. I will gain no honor defeating a ship as feeble as yours. But at least it will not take long. <clears throat> We're showing on their sensors. You think? We've got incoming munitions. Uh, 40%. Yep, we still have shields at 34, so 21%. His engines, I mean, weapons are disrupted. Helm, just go ahead and... Ouch. Weapons are disrupted. Yep. Wh what I want you to do is duck underneath him and get behind him. So we can send okay. him a welcoming, commit, a welcoming message straight up his rear end. Stay behind them as much as you can. The AI in this game, as long as you are behind the enemy, they're like, they don't know what to do. Okay. Yep. Duck directly underneath them again. Come to full reverse and steer the ship around. Like heading 315, perfect. Now full speed ahead. Beautiful. That's kind of a helm pro tip. Thank you. It's the first time at the helm. Duck underneath him again. Also, if you are looking at the uh, the enemy and they're firing a photon torpedo, you can actually make the ship go up or down in space and dodge right. the torpedo. That's awesome. Let me get you an external view here of this ship. Oh. Should be, see, go up or down, go up or down. Ascend, ascend, or out to. Oh! Ah. I, I was going down. I tried. It's okay. We're not dead yet. We got 17% left. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Sir Bachi, get in here. You owe, me, you owe me one from all the times I saved you. Sizzle. One more tor torpedo should do it. Torpedo that I had half loaded. Nice. Yes. <laughs> yeah, shields back. We're being hailed by the Suribachi. We've been out looking for you, Captain. I'm glad we found you when we did. The USS Raleigh is holding off at a rendezvous with repair crews ready to get to work. We'll escort you the rest of the way. Stillwater, out. Good job, everyone. That was awesome. Whew. Did I read that way? We had like 18% hull left. 17 <laughs> well, thanks for the quick mission, guys. But now I'm gonna bail. Yeah, I gotta go too. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for the mission. Take it easy.